this is Robin from Sciatica Boot Camp and today's question is what causes sciatica pain in both my legs? What is causing sciatica pain in both my legs? And if you have sciatica pain, you will have pain from your back buttocks down to your leg, even down to your foot sometimes, okay? And usually you just have your sciatica pain in one leg, okay? That, that's uh, the most common uh, way you have sciatica, but you can definitely have it in both of your legs and uh, the, the the information regarding that you know behind that is that you have compression on your nerve root in your lower back and not just one side on both of your sides okay and it can be that you have like a herniated disc that's actually when the disc has cracked open and the, the fluid has run out and it's pressing on the left side um, on the nerve root and you'll have radiation pain down your static nerve but you can also have it on your right side okay so you have more like a, a, a central uh, herniated disc okay you can also have like a slip disc that's when the disc really hasn't um, popped or it's no damage to it it's just shifted to the right or the left and then you can have something called spinal stenosis and that's more or less like the next stage of a herniated disc or a slip disc or, or a bulging disc, okay? This is actually when the disc has, the thickness has been reduced quite a bit. And that is, is uh, manifesting so you actually have pressure on your, your uh, nerve roots more or less constantly, okay? And a very, very common sign if you have spinal stenosis is that your uh, the length of your walks gradually decreases okay first you might, might be able to walk 20 or 30 minutes okay after a while you need to stop after 15 minutes and actually bend over a bit okay and that bending over is meaning that you're actually increasing the the size of the the where, where you where your nerves go out from your back your lower back uh, you're increasing the space okay so if you have spinal stenosis the space is very very limiting and the nerve goes through that okay but what happens is when you're when you're out walking and you start to feel pain when you have spinal stenosis then you move forward then it's actually opening up that hole so the the nerve gets more uh more more place more or less to, to move around and you get less pain for for a period of time okay I'm gonna go in through this more extensively in, in later clips, okay? But that's, that's a few things to think about. Okay guys, that's today's tip. And guys, remember, just one step away from healing your back pain.